Ha! <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode of Topless Topics, the day where I get topless and talk about today's trending topics. Now, one of the things that I've noticed is I'm growing chest hair. It's finally happening. Like, you can't see it, but it's there. Small little specks like little pixie dust. Is you know when you're just like watching old movies and TV shows and then you kind of pick up on things you never really caught on before? Or you're like you watch a show and there's like a bromance between two characters just like, yeah bro I love you, yeah bro if I was like gay I'd like touch you. Or they like suggest like something really sexual between the two just like, you know. For example, the show Teen Wolf. Honestly, I thought that show was about a bunch of naked werewolves just getting together and having a giant orgy. Hey bro, I'm the alpha here. So what I say goes and I say, get an all. Now is it just me, or can we take a pause for a second? Tyler Posey, something about him, I don't know, but I like. They always have like shows with like two bros hanging out and they'll suggest something gay or suggest some chemistry between the two, but we all know it's for a joke or a laugh. Like the suggested incest in Supernatural, or Kermit the Frog and Fozzie Bear. Just like you think something's gonna happen, but you know it's never gonna do it. Or in movies when they portray a gay character, they always have to do like the parody. Or you have a straight guy casted as a gay guy. Like, ah, hell nah, Brittany. Just like, no, you can't be wearing that. Like, no, you look like a fucking spot. Oh my god, show the girls off a little bit. Can I grab them? Oh my god, like your boobs are so perfect. Oh my god, I wish I had boobs just like that. Like my boyfriend Enrique, just like, oh my god, he always goes off on me and just like, oh, if you had something to squeeze onto, oh my god, like, oh my god, your boyfriend Brad is like so fucking cute and he's like so fucking extra. Like, oh my god, like if he was gay, like I can get on top of that. You know, I'd probably get on top of that anyway, because you know how much I love the penis. <sighs> like, we're always those hyperactive, hypersexual, crazy, obnoxious. Me, me, I just described me. Like, you'll see it everywhere, even on Mad TV or, or Saturday Night Live sketches. Like, anything related to homosexuality. It was a shtick. It was something to use as comedy. So a lot of comedians will use that, or like a sketch about it, or just like, try to emphasize something on homosexuals. It's because it's not the norm of what people expect. It's the unexpected. It's something different, because it's not what the majority of people are used to. And they'll think it's funny. It's just like, alright, it's a thing. It's a thing I don't know about. That's unique. That's original. It's really not anymore. And honestly, look, I'm not gonna lie, as someone on YouTube, as someone who does comedy, comedy. Like, it's so funny to me that I'm considered a comedian. Like, that's a thing. I do comedy. <laughs> and even as a gay man, look, I do this as well too. Look, I'm sorry. It's all shtick. It's a lie. I'm not even really gay. For comedy on my YouTube persona, like, sometimes I'm obnoxious. Sometimes I say things. Sometimes I'm overly flamboyant. Sometimes I talk with, like, a really high-pitched voice just to get a point across. And, like, especially in my daily life when I work around straight guys. But here's the thing that people don't realize. Gay people exist. I know. Shocker. I, I know. I found out myself too. I met a gay guy once. I'm like, what? You're real? Oh my god. I had to write it in my journal. It's like, what the fuck? It's like a rare finding. It's like finding a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> like, I'll an obnoxious gay joke around straight people because like the reason why I do it in my daily life is because it's funny to watch straight guys freak out it's it, for no reason like you shouldn't really be nervous about this but you know what if you're gonna be uncomfortable about me then you know what we're just gonna have fun with it because I'm a terrible person and is it a cheap way to get a laugh maybe will I do it anyway yeah yeah, I will. And I know a lot of people actually get offended by this because, you know, homosexuality is the joke. Homosexuality is a real thing. And people are gay. People are transgender. People are lesbians. There's lesbians everywhere. Life is just better with lesbians. But I feel like it's okay to use homosexuality in humor and as a joke if you actually do it justice. If you're gonna say a gay joke, it better be hilarious. It better be the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. And it better not be offensive towards people who are actually gay. Like, you don't have to be like that flamboyant boy wearing the crop top, just like trying to hit up all the mans and like smoke that sausage because you know you gotta get some tonight, just like pound that booty cheeks. Or like slide a little hot dog between the buns and oh my god, don't drop the soap because you know we never know. You just never know. Because the thing about comedy that a lot of people don't look at is that it's all a joke. It's all for the laughs. It's all for the lols. It's all for that cheap little humor to make you forget about your real life and just have some fun. And one of the best ways to get a laugh is to actually talk about someone different than yourself or someone who is yourself. To add more emphasis on an everyday situation. Like if you go to a stand-up comedian, they're gonna tell an elaborate story. Just like, half that shit didn't happen. It was probably like, hey, I just woke up and got cereal. But you know what, they're gonna take that next level. Just like, hey, I woke up, this hooker was next to me, it just had to trip over some mat. Then next thing you know, I trip over and this dog is licking my balls. I'm just like, where'd this dog come from? Just like, I'm covered in peanut butter. What happened the night before? I'll never know. But you also have to keep in mind that the people you talk about are real people. Look, you can make a joke about anything, whether it's about race, whether it's about sexuality, whether it's about different sexes. You can actually make a joke about the real life struggles or the real life situation. You just have to actually find a creative way to put it into humor. So I don't really hate when these shows have like two characters have like a bromance or like a suggested love thing. Cause you know what? Sometimes straight guys are just a fucking mess. I lived with like five straight guys in college. My one roommate who was just like an amputee who served with the Marines, had no legs, and he was just like always rolling around his wheelchair and just like cause he was 
level to my penis. He was just like, just let me see it. Come on, I'm right here. I'm just like, what? What is the, what is the, what? That man is the straightest freaking man would have sex with prostitutes, have to have sex with anything, anything with boobs and a vagina this, that existed. And he just always wanted to touch my penis. And look, for a man with no legs, know how hard it is to outrun a man just chasing you in a wheelchair, trying to grab your penis. Dude, he's just like, like doing the cat daddy all over the place. And I'm just like, mm -mm, not my balls. Now come on, man, show me that dick. The struggles I faced in college, I swear. The point is, anything can be a joke, but you have to find a creative way to make it not offensive towards people. You don't have to make fun of someone to make it funny. Sometimes comedy is hard. Sometimes it's hard to come up with a joke. Sometimes it's easy to take the easy way out. Just make fun of the people around you. Just like that episode of SpongeBob where he's making fun of squirrels. But a good writer or a good comedian knows the difference between a cheap joke with a cheap laugh and a cheap punchline and actual solid humor. And I got this topic after watching one of my favorite movies of all time, Mrs. Doubtfire. And they had a lot of gay jokes and a lot of borderline trans transphobic jokes, but honestly, classic movie, Robin Williams, can't hate it, I'm sorry, I just can't, no, never, that movie's gold. Anyway guys, leave a comment below, Psh, on, what do you think about the subject? Do you think straight people should just cut out the gay completely, out of their comedy or out of their laughs, just like, kill it? And what do you think about people portraying gay people as these flamboyant stereotypes? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys later, stay awesome, 